So let's go over the rhomboid muscles. We're gonna go over the major and minor. Yeah, I'm gonna get you to just bring your arm up here a little bit. When I ask you to, you're gonna bring it down here, just like that to begin, okay. to begin with. Okay, so first let's get on to the minor. So go down to the vertebral prominence here. We're just gonna use our thumb stick down here for the moment. I'm gonna take it down, good. Now, the origin is, this, is the spinous process of the seventh cervical and first thoracic vertebrae. Back. And so, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna move your shirt a little bit one sec here, Mickey. Take it down. You okay there? Oh yeah. And the insertion is on the medial border of the scapula at the level of the scapular spine. So I can actually feel the scapular spine here. Take it down, right down. Okay. Now, when it comes to the major, we're talking T2 to T5, same sort of thing, moving over and down. And the major is the insertions on the middle part of the scapula between the scapular spine and the inferior angle. So all the way down, inferior angle down here, we have to take it right down, right across. You okay there? Yeah. Okay, so bring it down now. So I'm actually moving up a little bit back on the minor. I do a little bit of circumduction there. Okay. Oh, now, to do this, posteriorly, I have to back up my thumb. I have to put my other palm on top of my thumb, take it down, and right down. You okay there? Take it in circumduction. Okay. Now, describe what the difference is between no circumduction and circumduction. Yeah, you're <laughs> going so like very, very deep, but okay. I can also feel where trigger points are. Yeah. And then instead of just laying on the trigger point, you're going through the motions, which is actually moving. You can feel fascially over top where the trigger point is. So it's not just sitting and pressing. Yeah. It's moving over and you can feel the fibers eventually loosening. Right. I can actually feel different layers of fibers releasing yeah. or starting to move over top of one another. Oh. Okay. Also, while we're here, I just want to bring this up here and see how your scapular mobility is here. Are you doing okay there? Yeah. Good. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get you to actually go face down, please. forward on the table here. Keep going forward oh, all the way up. Just get yeah. There we go. You okay? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna get you to go here. And I'm gonna get you to go down kind of like that. Okay, yeah. Okay. One sec here. Okay. So I'm gonna take around C7 T1. Take it down. Take your arm down. Arm down. down. Yes. Back up. Now I'm going to use this part here. Feeling that quite a bit more? Yeah. And back. And again. I mean, you can do it with a thumb and it works fine. But you, there's no way you're going to be able to generate that much force without hurting yourself as a practitioner or the patient. <laughs> now do some circumduction. Not easy, is it? No. Okay. Okay. Good. So what I would actually do is combine these two different techniques to get a, a full release of the, the muscle, both the minor and the major. Really, really effective techniques.